Welcome back to my channel. Today is the day I'm going to give you guys a room tour. I would like to start the video off with giving a huge thank you to my boyfriend. Aww. He helped me set the whole room up. Like, this setup could not be possible without him. Thank you so much. Um, so, yeah, let's get right into it. Um. I also wanted to tell you that like I have various themes going out through my room. It goes from like cottage core, fairy core, studio Ghibli, um, coquette. So that's the vibe that's for my room. Okay, so when you walk in, here's the door, and then if you take a right, my trash is here, I, and then here are my boots. Um, they're not where my other shoes are because they don't have any room for them over there. Okay, and then you walk in, and then I have this chair here, and I got this um, seat cover because I think it makes it look so much cuter. Without it, it would just be a plain blue chair. And then I had got this avocado when I was with Geneva, um, getting her like graduation stuff, and it's so cute. I love it. Okay, and then from the chair, you come over here to my closet doors. Um, I love this um, rose garland. It's so cute. It makes the room look like princess vibes. Um, in this closet, it's nothing special. I have my little bag for my toothbrush stuff, my robe, laundry stuff, my shower caddy. This is when I like decorated my room for my boyfriend's birthday and then just miscellaneous stuff at the top. Okay. And then this closet, we are not gonna open because no. it is a mess. <laughs> it's where like I have like food at the top shelf and then at the bottom I have like cleaning supplies, um, extra toiletries, yeah. And then you make your way this way and this is where all my shoes are. You see there's no space for the boots. And I also keep my backpack here. And then if you come up, I have um, pictures of me and my boyfriend in different memories. Um, so cute. And then in this corner, I like to put like little cute things around the room to find. Um, at the end of the video, tell me how many mushrooms you counted. But I have like, I know for sure I have three of these. So here's one. And then I crocheted this um, flower and I originally wanted to put it on my coaster, but it wasn't going to work out because the cup wouldn't stand right. Like I wanted it to look like a lily pad and that be like a lotus flower. But yeah, so since it didn't work out, I just put it over here. 
And then in this corner, I have this cute bunny that I actually bought from one of my friends that I made on college. We live in the same dorm and she has a small business and I want to give a shout out to that business. I will like put the picture in here like now I guess. And yeah, it's so cute. Um, you can put it on like your backpack or like a tote or anything. I just wanted to put it here because it goes with my room. Okay, and so once you go from this area, you turn here, and then this is where I have my desk. I would say that I do most of my work here because that's how I was last semester, but this semester I've been doing more work in my bed, surprisingly. But I love this um, setup. These are the coasters I was talking about that I want it to look like a lily pad. Um, I have a jar of mints, which used to be the channel's tripod, a candle I'm not supposed to have. Um, excuse the wiring. I have this whiteboard. I normally like to change the quote out um, every week, but this has been here since the first day of school. And then over here, oh, excuse me, I have, um, let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. I have another one of those mushrooms, and I have this pen that my friend Eli gifted to me when he went to, honestly, I forgot where he went, but he went Please. somewhere, and he also got me the other pen that's on my backpack, and it's so cute. I feel like it's my little angel protecting me. Um, and then over here, they have like duckies hiding. Hold on, they're not arranged right. I have these little duckies here and I like to call the big one my lucky ducky. I got this from a former co-worker at the ARC and the other duckies like the little ones I actually got at the ARC as well. They had like this scavenger hunt and you had to find these little duckies and if you found a ducky with like um, a symbol on the bottom of it you got a prize and I actually did end up winning something but I don't have like the winner duck here. <laughs> Um, I used to have way more little duckies, but like they kind of like disappear. Huh? But, yeah. And then I have this lamp for when it's nighttime and I'm working. And then this very cute computer pad. Like I feel like this is me. This is how I want to be. All the plants. Um, and then I have this cute cloud like arm cushion for when I'm doing work on the computer. So like my wrist isn't hitting this metal part. Okay. And then above my desk, I have this cute um, garland. I actually crocheted this myself. Um, I just thought it just made the um, vibe more cozy. I feel like anything crochet gives like a cozier vibe. And then I also have another one of those chairs. I have like a blanket here. And then I also have like the white cushion. Okay, so if you go up from the desk you'll see like I have these Polaroid pictures um, and it was dark when we were doing this but this is when me and Geneva we like painted pumpkins together and we took Polaroid pictures she actually has the picture where it's both of us um, and it was fun and cute and then up here I have like hold on let me step back so you can see the whole thing okay I have like various lamps and that one up there lights up too, it just needs a change of batteries. Um, that's my mushroom lamp that I got from like TJ Maxx. I got that Himalayan salt rock lamp from Walmart I believe and I got it because I went to this spa place and the ladies room had that and I was like ooh I want that. Because you'll probably notice that also my room is very zen just because I tend to get stressed easily. So anything that like helped me calm down, I love to like have in my room. And then here, people think it's a mushroom, but it's actually a rain cloud humidifier. I love the sound of it um, and it's cute. And then up there um, is my honors diploma. It's not my actual degree. I have my actual degree at home, but I like to showcase that. Okay, so if you move from the desk to this side, 
they have um like dressers i use some of them but like i sacrifice storage space so that i can like put the two beds together let me show you um i want it to have like a bigger bed and since i do have a private room i got both of the beds so i just put them together and so yeah with that i don't like use the bottom ones because i can't reach them but that's fine um i put this um what is it called these flowers here like ignore the ghetto taping but Please. anyways i got it from extra pieces from this hysteria situation going up here it's so cute um but yeah you have this like speaker that my boyfriend gifted to me and then you have these flowers which are so pretty i normally like to keep pink flowers because it matches the theme but sometimes i like to switch up the color i love to have like one like set of fresh flowers in the room this is the perfume i use and then i have this cute strawberry trash can that i don't even use because i used to live in this dorm but a different floor and the layout was different and i was roommates with my friend andrea and she had a little trash can by her desk and then we had this one main trash can and i was like dang i wish i had a little trash can so i didn't have to like go to the big trash can which mind you it's not that far to go to the big trash can i was just lazy so i just wanted one by my desk um and i got one and then like the layout of the room like hypothetically i don't even know if that's what i'm trying to say but it would have been like right there but i was just like the way the room is set up i used to have my trash can there so it's just like eh. so i just keep it here i mean it looks cute hold on i have to get on the bed to show you okay so here we have this crystal that my boyfriend got me when he went on a trip like i think he was at the beach and he found it and he said i think he would like this and so he got it for me which is nice and then here this turtle is when i went to the pottery place again in my hometown but i went with my boyfriend that time and i painted a cup and i saw this turtle as an option and i knew i couldn't get both and i was like dang i wish i could like have that turtle look cool in my room and so I got the cup and then he got the turtle so I can have both, which was nice. And then a picture of my boyfriend. And then here I have my projector, which you can probably hear being noisy. Um, I'll show you how it looks on the screen. I'll have to turn the lights off though. By the way, my room looks much cooler at nighttime, but I wanted y'all to see everything. But yeah, that's for like this area. So then you come over here and then you see the same situation because it's meant for two people. So I have this for this shelf. I have like different figurines and everything over here lights up. It's just a hassle for me to turn them on. Well, I would say it's not a hassle for me to turn them on, but when it's time to turn them off, I don't feel like getting up because I'll have to like stand on my bed and reach up there to turn them all off. So I just keep them off now, but I have this like cute bear, which I think is so cute because it looks like it's like looking at the clouds that I have on my ceiling. And um, I'll get to that in a moment. I need to stay focused. And then I have this little chicken and then a bunny and then the things that they're like sitting on are actually candle holders that my boyfriend gifted to me and i said i wanted the holders but not the actual candles because uh, you know how guys are like he got me candles and they said live love laugh and i was just like absolutely not but i will keep those <laughs> um Okay, and then over here, I have like another little mushroom house and then roses beside them. And then here, I have like a little basket of roses, which actually came separately. I just taped like, these are like light up roses. I taped them to the basket. And then I have a clock, which I need to reset. I think it's like two minutes behind. Okay, so when you come from this um shelf situation to over here 
this is actually a blank wall which i want to like put like the coloring pages that i've been coloring of um the cool women i just need to like cut them out and put them up there i don't know what's stopping me <laughs> or holding me back but anyways you turn over here and i have my window this is like where the coquette stuff comes in i have this um I have this cute curtain it doesn't go all the way down i didn't want long curtains because i knew i was gonna have plants and i needed them to get the sunlight and stuff like that but above it you see i have this like um i guess it's another kind of garland but it's just cute and then y'all have already seen this area which is my plants and the leaves I don't think y'all have seen this because I didn't have it yet when I uh, first showed y'all this area but I've gotten a plant terrarium that Geneva gifted to me. It was so fun to make. Before I show y'all what's on the next wall, I wanted to take a moment to show y'all the ceiling with the clouds on top and I didn't know that the light was going to be a circle because in my old room it wasn't like that but i think it's perfect because it kind of looks like the sun in the clouds or the moon in the clouds so yeah and of course my boyfriend helped me put those up because i can't reach that <laughs> okay so i'm going to go out of order just for a bit because the next wall i'll have to turn the lights off for y'all to see um so yeah i'm gonna show you guys my favorite part of the room Okay, so this is my favorite part of the room. I call it my panda sanctuary. I have bonsai trees, pandas, which by the way, the panda that's right there, that's where those little pandas come from. Like the panda has like a zip up on its stomach and then it had like the three little pandas inside. So it's like the mama panda and then all of the babies. And um, this like leaves I had here, I put... It was like left over from those leaves over there. And then I have this waterfall that was the best investment ever. Like if you want to go to sleep, it will put you out. If you're stressed, it will calm you down. And it's just so mesmerizing to look at. Like I don't know if y'all can hear from the camera, but I love this thing. Okay, let me go turn off the lights so I can show y'all the rest. Wait, actually, before I do that, I forgot I wanted to mention that this is, like, not a table. It's actually um, dressers. So, like, this is where I keep my clothes. I just put them together and made this, like, a table. Okay, so once you come from this wall, you go to this wall, and then you have these, like, pink little um, flowers going down, which, by the way, lights up. It just needs to change batteries. And we taped them down, and I just didn't feel like untaping it, putting more batteries. It's cute when they're lit, lit up, but um, I'm fine with them not being lit up. And then I'm going to show you the projector. Hold on. It's, again, much cooler and clearer at night, but this whole wall turns into a screen. And so it's really nice to watch movies on or like anime and stuff like that. Um, I can't tell if y'all can see that or not. But yeah, that's why like this wall is blank if like the projector isn't on and it's daytime. But I like to save like one wall in my room for the projector. And then you can see that they have like the flowers thing here as well. And then this is the fish tank lamp I was telling you about. Um, they have like one fishy stuck at the top. And then like all of the other fishies are stuck at the bottom. I don't know why they don't float right. Um, let me see if I like move it a little if it'll like go. I don't think so. Man. Cause I feel like they're gonna float up when I like stop recording this part. So that's annoying, but yeah, sometimes they like float up here and then let me turn back on the lights to like show y'all the rest. Okay, so you go from like the fish tank lamp to the refrigerator 
and I keep my dishes on top of here, um, paper towels, dishwashing liquid, this basket, I have mittens, and they have M&Ms in here right now, this is me being real, but I used to have like fruit in here, but yeah, it's not really special in this like area, but the very last wall of the room is another one of those flower things, so it's kind of like three. And then you make your way back. That's all I have for my room tour. I really hope you guys liked it. Comment down below what was your favorite part of the room. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.